Francisco 49ers. It's the team of the 80s versus the team of the 90s. The Niners, the Cowboys, they're underway. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. Yeah, and rode him right out of bounds. Prescott now on second down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ferguson. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up third and two. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up four. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down. It's a gain of seven on fourth and four. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Pollard going to try the right side. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down and three. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. They'll run left with Potter. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Well, it wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went ahead and went heavy. No surprise on who was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10.
Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Play action now, Prescott. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they take over, they'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, it would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the mound you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. So that a very nice looking touchdown run. And on his first carry of the game as well. And you remember, Brandon, we talked to him yesterday and he thought he was going to have a big game. He thought everything aligned perfectly. He liked what the defense was presenting and he really liked what he was getting from his blockers. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On first and 10, Prescott. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. It's Jair Brown who's got it. And the 49ers are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing here, Purdy. Touchdown for the Niners! Christian McCaffrey. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. An extra point try now for Moody. And it's good to make it 14 0. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Prescott. Oh. 
And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Third and two. Now Prescott. and that should get him off the field with a three and out. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll run for it with Pollard. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Fourth and two in the NFL, not ordinarily a running down anymore. Usually that ball is moved through the air. They went ahead and gave it to the back, and he ends up picking up the first down. I'm not sure if they fooled them as much as they just did a nice job executing. Needed two, and they got three. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Normally being a big body receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Prescott from the gun on third. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 39. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Here we go, 47. Sweat. Sweat today. They'll throw again. Prescott. Here's a diving catch right side. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Scott looks to throw on first. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. A second down throw for Prescott. And he's got it. And the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Pollard, no signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. Second and one. And that would off the mark behind him. Incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles to the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Now here's Pollard. And he is into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys are back within a score. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. 
From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. At their own 22-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, this is McCaffrey. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Here's a second and five. Back to throw, Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. Oh, what a move. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Play action. Now Purdy sliding out of the pocket. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Here's Purdy. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And this one looks good. It is good right down the pipe. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. We've hit halftime, two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, 
They sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And the delay of game penalty makes this much more difficult. Third and eight. Purdy. And that is incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Fourth down try. Here's Purdy. And he is caught. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Purdy now to throw. That'll be caught by Ayu. Touchdown for the Niners. Touchdown. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Always important to get the first score of the second. 